that is a giant coffin. Going on Explorers, Brandon Abandoned, the 64 Explorer, Explorer Third Back Stickland. I got an awesome little spot for you guys today. You may have seen it before, but many, many years ago, this house is, it was a little time capsule right now that it's not really in that state. There's a bunch of cool stuff left behind. The house is beautiful itself. It's been abandoned for 12 years now. The owners, they passed away. The son bought the property. He came for about two years cleaning up the property and all that, but then all of a sudden just stopped showing up. And then now for the last 10 years, it's just been sitting here abandoned. The neighbors told me that they tried to keep an eye on it and do what they could, but people kept coming, kept coming, and then the kids found it and just started partying here. So he said almost every night there was parties. They couldn't do anything about it. They just let the house end up in this state. But apparently it was one of the nicest houses on the street. And I talked to two neighbors and they both told me that. So let's check it out. Let's see how beautiful this house is. How you doing? Okay, let's see what we have. We got a Buick. An old Buick hanging out. So I talked to the neighbor, very nice old guy. He was telling me that this place has been abandoned for 12 years. The son ended up buying the property or getting it switched into his name. For two or three years, he would come and cut the grass and make it look nice. And then one day he just decided to stop. So this place is just getting worse and worse. The neighbors said that they, they tried to keep an eye on it and make it okay. But they said after so long, just the kids were here partying all the time. They, they couldn't do much. So let's see what type of condition it's gonna be in. It's a snazzy light, look at that. But that's pretty cool though, talking to the neighbor makes you feel a lot safer about being here. <laughs> he even told me, he's like, the only thing that's in there that's nice is there's a wood stove in the basement. He said, besides that, make sure you wear a mask. I have it with me, but of course I'm not wearing it because I'm dumb. But I just might eventually. And he said a lot of dead critters. Dead critters are never fun. And as he mentioned too, let's, as we always do, nothing in there, but that's a nice fridge. It's a very nice fridge. Yeah, check that out. There's power. See how dark that got? <laughs> yeah, still power in the house. They were also mentioning, like, you see how bad the property looks. They were mentioning that the old neighbors, the, the older gentleman that lived here, not the son, they used to keep their lawn. They said it looked like they cut it with scissors. It was so nice and so pristine. That's pretty cool. Some old computer games. Some old magazines. What type of magazine is it? Workshop. And again, so 2011, 2010 is the for sure date this house went abandoned. You can definitely see kids have been here with all the spray paint. Looks like there could have been a wood stove there, unless that's just it's a piece of cardboard. A little old chair, the nice red carpet, so. A little Casio. 
Should we do it just for fun, even though it won't? Yeah, look, and all the plates, everything's smashed. <clears throat> Excuse me. But they had the stucco on the walls like I like. A little bar. It's cool though, it's padded. Very, very 70s-ish, 80s-ish. Luckily, there's been no dead animals. Right. Let's head upstairs. Let's make our way upstairs. Pretty sure this is going to be the top floor. before that happened. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like this bungalow style. I do so. Big old stove. And there's the head to an animal right there. Let's go back through the kitchen. <laughs> it's weird that there's all these egg curtains. The old stove. My boots are gonna be a mess after this. Baker scaffold, broken light. That plant's doing amazing though. <laughs> plastic, plastic plants. Nice glass. Letters, notes, miscellaneous. It's a box for the little scaffold. At some point, somebody must have been trying to clean up this place. What was that, 12 years ago? Because again, this, the kid, the son, he stopped coming around in 2012, 2013. Beautiful blue tub, blue toilet. Dove swinging. Look at that, eh? Gross. That's where somebody was squatting at one point. Really old light. <laughs> Plug it into your cigarette. Reader's Digest from 97. And then 98. Yeah, 98. That's weird. You can even see the hand on that. So that was a rat. 
That was a huge rat. It's a deer hoof. Wow, <laughs> well, I don't know. Was that part of decoration? Was that brought in by an animal? How old that bed is. Crazy. The mattress is just disintegrated into nothing. And that old closet door. Not too much left anymore. Just remnants of a party. They even got a very cool, very cool little sunroom. It's a totally different building. It's not attached to the house. It's just this little what, 15 by 20. Very, very cool. Got a little garage here. Nice old bike. messed up that is a giant coffin you see that's the bed for it and cross man that's almost kind of creepy what's there a casket doing in here Big too. All right, everybody, what did you guys think of this spot, eh? Very, very cool house. It sucks that it's ending up in this condition and this is its life now, but it won't be here for too much longer. It will be getting demolished. That will definitely make the neighbors a whole lot happier because the ones on the one side, they even put up trees that were big trees that ended up growing still, but it covers up this whole eyesore to them. Again, 12, 13 years with a house like this sitting beside you, it can't be fun. But anyways, like it, subscribe it, share it. Thank you for the comments, for the love, for the views, for all your support. Brandon Abandon, I'll catch you on the next Explore. Ciao. Oh, We will rise from the ashes. We will rise. Will you follow or will you lead? Will you be lions or will you be sheep? We are the very ones that we need. We hold a piece of the universe, indeed. We hold a piece of the universe. Peace.
so 